I always knew I wanted to be a lawyer. And many people, I can't even, I can't even count how high people kept saying to me, you're never going to be a lawyer. You're a girl. Girls aren't allowed to be lawyers. Girls shouldn't be home learning how to cook. You shouldn't be studying. You shouldn't be learning sports. You shouldn't be doing any of the things that I chose to do. And my parents said, you do. You go do whatever you think is the right thing to do. We will support you. If you have a good support system, that's, that's critical. If you have brothers and sisters, and, I, and my brother and I help each other, that's a really important thing. But if your parents say to you, yeah, you can go do what you want to do, you just, and my parents say, yes, of course you guys can go to college, but you have to figure out how to pay for it, that's an important thing to do. But I had many, many people who told me over the years, Kathy, you can't do that because, and fill in the blank. Well, unfortunately, maybe, part of my personality is if someone says, I can't do that, that's sort of like a, a green light that goes on in my head and I think, oh, watch me. You think I can't do that? You just watch me. What, what's going to happen next? And of course, then I had to conquer whatever that was because I had to show them that I could do it. That's the kind of attitude. If you can figure out what's good for you, that's what you need to do. I and mean, there's no magic to any of this. It's just being able to say, I can do this. I believe in myself. I know what I'm going to do. And, and you move forward. Sometimes you have to go like this when someone says, who wants to volunteer? And I'm not just talking in school, but other places people say, anybody want to do this? Even if it looks like it's not the right thing to do, you so I'll do that. Because then you develop a reputation and you develop a mindset that you are willing to put yourself in a position where it might not be a wonderful experience, but it might work. And I'll give you one example from my life years ago. Um, I still live in the same area, but it was, it was called the Assembly District 36 State Legislature. They were looking for candidates to run. The incumbents were 14-year incumbents there, and my party selected me. Now, nobody else really wanted to run because the other side had won for 14 straight years. But I thought, oh, this sounds like a wonderful adventure. And I said yes. The other party had been there for a long time. Now, once I won, people said, oh, it was easy. You were lucky. I should have done it. You don't deserve to be. You're a girl. And I wasn't a girl. I was a woman. Yada, yada, yada. People had all kinds of reasons why it shouldn't have been me. But it was me. And, and they had to deal with that. You need to put yourself in that position. If, if, you, if you make yourself available, if you're not afraid to say, yes, yeah, sure, I'll try that, you're going to get a lot more out of life than if you just wait for somebody to ask you. There's an expression one of my friends told me a long time ago. It, it says you can't wait to be asked to dance. Now, you can use another phrase, but really it means be willing and able to step up. Be willing to put yourself out there, because if you don't, you're not going to be available for the opportunity that comes your way. And I've had some remarkable experiences because I was willing to say yes. One of the things I also found out about myself, if any of you are thinking about career in government and politics, and we certainly need some really fine people to step up in, in the years to come in, in government and politics. So I urge all of you, even if you don't want to make it a career, to think about being involved in politics somehow on the side. Because one, you'll find it fascinating, but two, we need you as well. The variety of the things that I can do is, is it's fascinating. The best part is when someone says to me, you know, you really helped me out on that, or, or I appreciate what you did because now I can, back when I was a county clerk, someone would say, you help me get my passport. You help me get uh, my notary public. It, for me, the most reward is helping people to be able to, at the end of the day, say, yeah, I did some good things today. That's the best part.